Design Build Companies provide an amazing experience for people who want to be carefully guided through their home renovation. But that service comes with costs and money is only one of them. This episode will help you get clarity around the design build process so that you can determine if this approach is right for you and your renovation. What type of home renovation can you get for $100,000 in Toronto today? When my husband and I first decided to renovate our home back in 2019, remember how simple life was back then? We determined that we would be comfortable spending $100,000 in order to get the main floor of our dreams. Now, at the time, we had no idea who to call, what the process was, and how to determine if 100 k was a reasonable number for trying to achieve our goals. Thanks to my career as a project manager at many large agencies, I know the value that a full-service company can bring to a big project. They handle everything so that you don't have to. So when the time came to start my reno research, I naturally gravitated toward design-build companies as the ideal solution. I'm going to pause my story here to provide more background about what design build companies are and how they work to complete home renovation. What is a design build company? I'm so glad you asked. A design build company is a full service home renovation provider that takes care of the entire project from start to finish. If you look at the general life cycle of any project, not just renos, you'll always have the following broad phases, defining, planning, execution, and handover. In a home renovation context, here's what the phases mean. Defining means you decide to renovate and put in some initial parameters around what you want to do. Planning means you're creating your renovation vision, your scope, your schedule, your budget, layout, utility plans, designs, as well as permit approvals. Execution is construction. And the handover is when you approve the construction and move back into your home. That whole thing is surrounded by a process an ongoing exercise during the planning and execution phases, and that's called monitoring and controlling. So this is something that's going on the whole time to make sure that the project is on track and accurate. If you're just listening, there is a visual you can see in the video. A design build company will assign one point of contact to manage the planning and construction so that you don't have to coordinate several separate companies to work together. The claim is that they will design a solution that actually fits your budget instead of having your layouts, drawings, and designs completed by separate parties who all have no idea about the construction costs of the actual build. In order to provide all of the services for a home renovation, a design build company will have the following roles on their staff. Coordinators and reception, salespeople or account managers, project managers, architects and architectural technologists, interior designers, structural engineers, entire construction teams, including framers, plumbers, electricians, HVAC techs, drywallers, painters, flooring installers, tilers, etc., as well as masons, wood burning, fireplace techs, etc., as needed. They might need to bring those on for a project basis, or some bigger ones may actually have those on staff. The home renovation process with a design build company. Now, all design build companies will have their own exact blueprint for holding your hand throughout the process, but they all have a path that will go something like this. Step one, you'll reach out to their sales or account person to say that you want to renovate, and with a few swift questions about your goals, they will make sure that you have enough budget to qualify for their services. Keyword, qualify. Step two, you'll have a formal consultation, which is basically a sales pitch meeting where they'll explain their stellar services, show you their glowing testimonials and sparkling case studies and make you feel confident in their management abilities. You'll approve a significant planning budget, which is at least 10 to 20,000 and set up the next round of meetings. Step three, an employee will come and measure your home, then create 2D drawings of your existing layouts and elevations. Step four, you'll have a few design meetings where they'll ask you questions about your home and what you want. Then they'll go away and create some designs for you. Step five, they'll present the plans. This step might be broken down into smaller sub steps like a mood board, layout, and 3D designs separately, or they might all be presented together alongside a construction budget. You may have a couple rounds of review and revisions here. Any more will cost you more money and most likely an opportunity to see their selection of cabinets, tiles, flooring, etc. You'll trust that they are the best choices for you, so you'll approve the construction budget. Then they will submit in step six, the permit application to your local jurisdiction. Step seven, you'll be notified of the approval and your construction phase will be scheduled in. They will keep you informed of the job progress all the way through and can always get a hold of your project managers to ask questions. Step eight, you'll approve the final delivery of your project and move back into your home. 
The entire process is supposed to be seamless and put you at ease. It should make you feel confident about your renovation so that you don't have to worry about connecting the dots or not being able to reach your contractor, which is how so many horror stories go. It's supposed to be the gold standard for home renovation processes because it takes all the stress away. Hmm, well, let's just jump back into my story now, shall we? I started calling design build companies for initial quotes and all of them gave me ballpark figures of $150,000 to $200,000 for just my main floor renovation, which is only 720 square feet. Almost double what we had worked so hard to save up. Do you think that the design build approach was right for us? So who are design build companies right for? You're an ideal candidate for a design build company if you, number one, don't feel inspired by interior design shows and imagery. Not everyone is addicted to HGTV and feels that they could be besties with the property brothers given the opportunity. If renovating your home feels more like a chore than the most exciting thing you'll ever do in the next five years, then leaving the burden to the professionals is probably a good choice. Number two, if you don't feel confident in your abilities to research vendors and pick finishes that will work together well. Design build companies have skilled designers on staff to recommend a layout and finishes that will transform your home into something beautiful, even without getting much input from you about what your problems are, how your home could work better, and what would make you proud to make memories with friends and family. If you are happy to relinquish control of your renovation, design build companies take care of everything so that you don't have to be too involved in the decisions that affect your home and how you'll actually live in it. Don't stress about where they will move your air ducts to when that load bearing wall gets removed. They'll pick a good place for you. If you, for hate administering awkward competition, Design build companies don't have to bid or compete for the construction part of the project because the entire point of choosing one is to have them complete the planning and execution phases. So you don't have to worry about asking multiple contractors to quote your job and, you know, trying to sort through references and, you know, confusing estimates and that type of thing. And fifth, a design build company is great for you if you have a large budget. Design build companies provide wonderful services that take a lot of the stress out of a home renovation, but those services are not free. Over and above the 10 to 20,000 just for the planning and design phase, be prepared to pay another 20 to 60,000 or maybe even more, depending on the size of your project, for ongoing management and handholding throughout the project life cycle. It's not uncommon to see 40% of your entire budget go directly towards managing you and the project. Back to the story. After I picked my jaw up off the floor over the prices, I realized that we had to figure out another solution because a hand-holding design build company was just not going to be an option for us. Not only did we not have the kind of money they would need to make it worth their while, but also I just didn't like the way they spoke to me, as if I knew nothing about renovations, design, architecture, and what I wanted. But in all fairness, part of that was true, though of course I still didn't like it. Um, I had studied design and architecture and was hugely passionate about, about all things real estate, but I didn't have a clue about the home renovation process back then. I had no idea how to take all the ideas swimming around in my head and turn them into anything tangible. I didn't know back then who to call, what steps to take, and where to get help. I didn't even know which questions to ask in order to find out what I didn't know. One thing I did know was that going to a contractor also wasn't an option. You can't go to someone who does execution and ask them to help you plan. That's just not their job, passion, or skill set, and you will just end up incredibly frustrated. That's a different article. Those early phone calls with design build companies made me realize just how much I didn't like that I didn't know anything about how to get my renovation done and that a design build company wasn't the right solution for us. I knew then that I needed to learn everything there was to know about renovations and plan it all myself so that I could reliably get exactly what I needed. I didn't have the money or the comfort level to allow someone else to do the planning I knew I could do on my own. So is a design build company right for your renovation? If those five personality traits describe you, then a design build approach is probably the way to go. But if you read those factors and thought, nope, that ain't me, then you need another solution. If you're passionate about home renovations and design, and you're not afraid of putting in some time and effort to save yourself thousands of dollars, then you need to understand that you can plan your renovation yourself, just like I did in 2019, except you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can follow my process instead. I'm not suggesting that you need to DIY the construction, of course. You can definitely still get a contractor to do the execution 
but you can take on the role of chief project manager to coordinate the right people to get the right results you want for a budget you can actually afford. The BarnCap Blueprint is my proven framework inside Renovation Planning Academy that identifies the exact process to take you from learning to how to measure your home to discussing post loads with a structural engineer, all with confidence and panache.